Hello, welcome to The Groomsman. I'll be your host, Jonathan. And thanks for joining us. And if you're new, thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, today I'll be reviewing uh, a new to me soap, uh, Vacenza Romana from Ariana and Evans. This is in the Kaizen 2 base. Uh, I just picked this up. I joined the, the club, the membership uh, service that they have through there, uh, where you get discounts and stuff. And uh, I bought a few things, it was one of them. And I got it all lathered up in the bowl here in my PAA shaving bowl with my, I've been using this bar brush like every day for like the last week. Just a standard cheapo Surrey bar brush. And I love it. And it just performs excellently. The soap is excellent if you've never used Ariana and Evans. They make a great product. I mean, I've used their Pre-Kaizen and the Kaizen K2, Kaizen 2, which is what this particular soap is. And now he's on Kaizen 2E, which I believe the only difference between Kaizen 2 and Kaizen 2E is the inclusion of emu oil, uh, but don't quote me on that. I have used, I have one soap in that base, or maybe two, I think I have two. But they all perform excellently. Very dense, slick, great poche feel. I'm not really evaluating Ariana and Evans' performance. It's known. Uh, but I really like the scent on this. It's uh, a classified as a woody shipper scent. I'm not like super big and like, I don't, I'm not super knowledgeable as far as fragrances and stuff go, but uh, I guess it was inspired by two different scents, uh, Aqua de Parma, Romanza or something to that effect. An old scent by, by Alca de Parma. Not the original Italian citrus one. And then a Tom Ford Italian shipper, I believe. Or Italian... Hmm. It's not the right word. It's a Tom Ford Italian something, like a wood or something, like Italian cedar or something to that effect. Those are what inspired this fragrance. Or the scent on this. Uh, for the razor, I'm using a Timeless Aluminum uh, Aggressive. The plus, plus, plus plate. Uh, I have it on a Timeless. Did I say Timeless? I have a, it's a Timeless Candle. Uh, a Henson Aggressive plate. I think I said that backwards. A Henson Aggressive, plus, 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 and Aluminum on a Timeless Barber, uh, barber pole handle. I like the the extra weight and I like the knurling on the and I like the way it looks on the, the timeless handle. I got a second use permasharp blade loaded. I'm quite liking these blades. This is the third day in a row I've been using a permasharp blade. quite like the Henson Razor. I think they did an excellent job with the machining on this and the design. It does, it leaves a very, or it lends itself to a very, very smooth shave. Even on the aggressive plate, which I think, I've talked about it before, I think it's a misnomer. I think they, if I had one critique to give the Henson Company, I would say they need to change their their naming convention for their razors, because I think calling it an aggressive razor, um, I think it probably hurts their sales in the long run. I really do. I think a lot of people hear that word aggressive and they think, a lot of blade feel and it's not going to be comfortable and that's just not the case. There's not a lot of blade feel. It feels almost identical to the Henson Medium, which I have um, in brown. 
on the original handle. And they feel almost identical to each other as far as blade feel goes. Um, it's just the Henson Aggressive is uh, a little bit more efficient. I get a little bit of a closer shave. I know, so I got it when they did like a, a low run kind of thing. There's an interest list that got put out by Latherhog, another YouTuber. And then he convinced Henson to do this limited run for the people that signed up so they would definitely buy it. And a bunch of people did. And then some people complained because it wasn't really open to everybody and it wasn't advertised. And some people were like, well, I really wanted that and I didn't know about it. Um, so then they opened it back up. I don't know if it's still open. Um, or how long have they opened it back up for. I think if they get enough interest, they might leave it permanently. I think there's definitely room in their market for it. It was, for a long time, it was, the aggressive version was only available in titanium. So there's a lot of people that wanted it, but didn't want to pay the pretty hefty price increase between the aluminum version and the, the titanium version. I was one of those guys. I don't mind spending some money on a Razor, but... I have one titanium Razor. I traded for it. I enjoy it, but I don't know that I would ever go out and buy another titanium razor if I had another option for another material, like stainless steel or aluminum or brass or something. I just don't know that I find the value in the in the titanium offerings. It's light. Uh, it's a little bit heavier than aluminum, generally speaking. I will say the one titanium razor I had was anodized, electroplated, so it's all kinds of cool colors. That's pretty neat, but then that's a hefty price increase as well to get a titanium razor and then to pay to have it anodized. I think that, I just think that market for a titanium offering is a, uh, smaller than the, the other materials. But I could be completely wrong. I don't have any market data to support my conclusions. I really like the scent though. It's <clears throat> it's a little different in the in the tub than it is lathered up, and then on my face, like I keep getting different scent notes that are kind of popping up and becoming more evident during the shave, which I really like. Oak moss. I, I feel like I get a scent of rose in there every once in a while, but that's not one of the listed scents. It's really nice. I like it more as it's like opening up. like a, a bottle of wine when you get that when you first uncork it and it's got like a pretty heavy tang but then you allow it to breathe and all those kind of scent notes kind of come out kind of like that not quite the same as like a dry down from a, a cologne or a EDP or anything but it's just kind of opening up with like the heat Smells great. A woody shipper. I don't know what classifies a fragrance as a woody shipper. Alrighty. 
against the grain pass. It's perm sharp. It's doing amazing on this. I don't think you could probably use a bad blade at all in a Henson. I, <laughs> uh, Adam, one of the other been he always talks trash about the, the Rockwell Rage, but he's not the only one. There's a pretty significant group that will always say, hey, what's your worst blade? And they will always say the Rockwell blades. They come with like the Rockwell Success or the T2. Uh, I have not used a lot of them, but I definitely used one for sure, just because Adam said that, just to prove that you could use any blade. And I put it in a, in a Henson Medium. I know a lot of people made fun of me because they're like, that's not really a fair test because you could put a piece of glass in the hands of medium and get a good shave because that's how good that razor shaves and how like tight the tolerances are. there's plenty of people that like that blade too. I don't think there's any, I've never come across any blade that's universally hated. It's always your mileage may vary, right? Somebody might ask about the, the Rockwell blade and a bunch of people come out and say it's the absolute worst and there's always one guy that's like, I like them. I just bought another 100 pack because they're my favorite blade and they're very consistent. Well, that is a fact. And by that as a fact, I mean the your mileage may, your mileage may vary aspect. I don't know that I have any blades that I've never been able to. So there's some where I didn't get a good shave in a particular razor, but then I came back and revisited it with another razor, and it worked just fine. I think Bolzano was like that. I had a couple good shades with those, but then I had one that was not that great. I don't remember which razor that was that I used I didn't get a good shave out of with it but I actually just saw uh, Christian one of the other groomsmen was talking about his favorite blades and that was on there the Volzano Italian blade and immediately got a little bit of hate for that blade coming out some people don't like it but it's like that for anything a lot of people like Astra SPs some people don't. Try them out. They got those. I got started out with blade sampler packs on Amazon. I think I bought two different ones that had different type of blades in each one. You get like a huge mix, like fourteen or fifteen blade types, and like. And you get a full tuck of each one. I don't like the, the sampler packs where you get one blade of each type. I don't think one blade is really enough to form a firm opinion on whether or not you like that particular blade offering. But if you get like a five pack, like a normal size tuck, use them a few times, I think that's accurate. I do think it would be hard to get a bad shade with this, this Henson. Excellent shade. Hands on aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. We're going to be British today. Uh, Henson, aggressive on the timeless handle. Great shave. I'll be right back. I'm going to do a cold water rinse and then we'll have some post shave reflections. All right, I'm back. Thanks for sticking with me. Post shave, the Henson. Again, I highly recommend this razor. I really don't think anyone can get a bad shave. I've read a lot of reviews on it. The only 
negatives I've ever seen mentioned where some people don't like the aluminum weight. And I just say stick a stainless steel handle on there and you won't even notice that the head is aluminum. Um, it's got standard threading so any any almost any handle you have will fit on there. I just like the timeless one because it looks cool. Um, but you could get handles from Razor Rock. They're really inexpensive. And you get a stainless steel handle. The timeless ones on Scratch and Dent are 35 bucks. I'm pretty sure the ones off of uh, Razor Rock are about the same, 35 bucks. Uh, really inexpensive. Um, the only other head I've seen on there is some people don't like um, or wish it was a little bit more efficient. I don't have an issue with that. I think it's a very efficient razor. I mean, it's not the closest shave I've ever gotten. I'm not, it's not like a two day BBS kind of close shave, but this is a really, really, really good shave. And I have no problem using this razor every day. Um, it, it's really good. I'm decided that when my, my boy, he's 12, when he gets a little bit older and starts shaving, that I'm gonna start him out on a Henson. I'm gonna stop it on that. It's not really coming out very fast. This is a matching splash. This Vicenza Romana from Argan and Evans. They actually, so it's got like the pinup art, and some people like the pinup art, some people don't. Um, I like it. I, I've always kind of liked that style of artwork. I might be being prior Air Force, you know, the heritage was always like pinup girl art on the, the old aircraft during World War II. I always thought that looked cool. Um, but I do know that he changed the label on it. So they're getting rid of all the the Kaizen 2 stuff that's in store. So if you are interested in a scent like that, or the, I always say check out their store. Um, they got some pretty hefty discounts on there right now because they're trying to get rid of all the, the Kaizen 2 base products. Um, they had some particular sales on certain scents. Uh, I think London was one of them. I don't remember the other ones. Uh, but I think they're all discounted a little bit because they're trying to clear off all the Kaizen 2 off the shelves because they're replacing everything with Kaizen 2E. And uh, they're also changing some labels. So I guess they're continuing the majority of the this series of soap, a pinup series, but they're not doing pinups anymore. Um, so they just released a new label for this and it's kind of the same except there's no girl. So it's got the Coliseum in the background and a little Vespa. And it, it's a nice, it's it's nice artwork. It's well done. I, I like the picture, but I'm gonna miss the pinup girl. The scent is really, really nice. It's very sophisticated. It's very, I mean, there's like 10 different notes in there and it's really well blended. You don't get just like one note popping out. It's this really nice blend. I do, it smells like Italian sophistication. I like it. Highly recommend. It was a great shave. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Hit the buttons if you enjoyed the video. I certainly appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys again. And I will certainly be probably recording another one later this week. So tune in. Thanks you. Have a good day. Bye.